Hello everybody, this is Aquatami and we are back with The Sims 4 Mega Hood. Today we are with the Roswell families in Str Strangerville. Yep, yep, yep. Now Meredith is pregnant and having a midlife crisis. She desires to have a new lover, casually flirt eight times, meet new sims, and get divorced. Haven't decided if we should do that last one or not. But, uh, but, but yeah. So Ted is not working today. But he works tomorrow. He is a minor crime lord. He is hungry. And he is tired. And he wants to earn money. Add and open a present. Oh, to jazz. All right. Do we keep it or do we sell it? We'll keep it. All right, Meredith, you cook yourself something to... Why do you have a Baconite? I don't know. We're going to sell the Baconite. You want to be fabulously wealthy. What? No, no. You're not going to go practice the speech. Let's take this food. Let's put it in the kitchen. Let's take a momentary stop to use the bathroom. Come on, Meredith. Let's, let's go use the bathroom. And then we'll come back and get us something to eat. And then we may have to take a nap if we want to go and have a new lover and casually flirt and meet some new sims. I've never done this midlife crisis. Have I done your... sinks? No. Oh, it's rebate day. Y'all sure do have a lot of sinks. And we haven't even gone upstairs. started a garden. Um, you're going to have to water all the plants. We started a garden so that we could try to be fabulously wealthy. Because neither of us have enough money, uh, enough stuff to get a Harvest all. 
All right, sweetie, where are you headed? To clean. No. No, you're not. You're coming upstairs. I do not know which bedroom is your... If this is your bedroom, right? It's got the really good bed in it. You come and you get some sleep. Because we're going out later. We are going out later. But not right now. Okay, we're going to plant those. And sell the rest. And plant those. And sell the rest. So let's plant. We have to do something to make money. And it ain't a whole lot of money, but once the dragon fruit come, starts coming in, we'll be getting somewhere. You want to watch sports on TV and win a competitive game. Oh, and we need to buy something that costs at least 500 simoleons. We could buy toddler toys. Or we could buy one more of those chairs. But why would we need one more of those chairs? I don't know. How much are these chairs? Nine hundred simoleons. We bought a chair. Of course, now we have less than ten thousand simoleons. You're gonna go and view your duffel of money, okay? I mean, sometimes you just got to look at your duffel of money. Alright, let's look at your friendships and things. Do we have anyone we need to add? Clara Burgesson, apparently. And you don't have any... Oh, you don't like Wolfgang. And you don't like Darling. And you do know Nina. And have amazing compatibility with her. But you don't have any kind of romantic relationship with anybody but your wife. And you've decided to go to bed. At 8 a.m. Alright. That's cool. How pregnant is she? Birth in any moment. Lost connections from a midlife crisis. How long is this midlife crisis going to last? Because I've not really done a midlife crisis. Does it tell you how long it's going to be? Mm. All right. Go use the bathroom. And then we'll go to the bar. Or the club. No, we'll go to the... Do you want to go to the bar here in town? Probably not, right? Maybe we go to a bar... Maybe we go to a bar outside of town. Well, you need to contemplate life for a minute. She is contemplating her life and, and finding it wanting, to be honest. 
In the midst of a midlife crisis, Meredith has decided comedy is her thing and wants to do it more often. Okay, she likes comedy now. And she is in a flirty mood. Well, that will be helpful. Now, which bar do we go to? Not this one. Maybe we just go to the... Oh, there is a bar in Oasis Springs. There is a bar in Oasis Springs. Let's go to the Rattlesnake Juice Bar. No, we ain't, we're not taking our husband with us. No, no, no. I think we're going to have to do a random something to decide if she divorces her husband. I mean, unless she just gets caught in the act, but I don't think that's going to happen. Come on, dear. Let's go inside and see who's here. Well, James Ward is here. And he's about the only one in here at the moment. Now, what is it that we want to do? We want to meet new people and casually flirt. All right, we'll give it a go. See what happens. Oh, oh. Okay, let's compliment his appearance. Let's give him a pickup line. You want to flirt eight times and have a new lover. Oh, oh, she went, he wasn't into that. Oh, maybe we should have share a rebate day spirit. Now he's, he's, it's an awkward encounter now. Any can't trail. Don't know him. But we could try to get to know him. Let's come introduce ourselves to this guy. Come on, Meredith. Why is this guy embarrassed? Why are you embarrassed? Let's compliment his appearance. Let's throw him a flirt. Just say what happens. I don't really want everybody in the world in the middle of my conversation. But at the same time, Compliment her appearance. Oh, she did not like that. Well, let's compliment his appearance. Oh, 
She didn't like that. <laughs> so let's compliment his appearance. Everybody's just embarrassed now. This is not going well. Oh, dear. Well, we have flirted seven times, though. <laughs> Who's this? Mm, don't know her. Is everyone turning down my flirt? Mm. Let's give them a friendly introduction. Why can't I introduce myself to her? Alright. She wants to get divorced and get married? Good lord, woman. is evil. Is that all? Oh. Meredith isn't evil. The other woman is evil. It's happy hour. You're going to have to take a moment to go to the bathroom, hun. Because, you know, pregnant and all that. And then we might have to get ourselves something to eat. No. Or some food. Um. We haven't met Brandy yet. Or Daisy. Six Sims exchange friendship bracelets, have a new lover. Well, we've been pretty much failing miserably at the have a new lover. You were in hygiene festival is tonight. I 
do not know what's going on with her. Hmm. Alright. Awkward encounter for socializing. Are we interested in Henry Cantrell? Do we want to try to make him our new lover? Let's see. We have James Ward. He's he headed out. We don't have much of a relationship with any of these except for with Henry. And we could get his friendship up a little bit, possibly. A tiny little bit. So it wouldn't be as awkward to flirt with him. She likes optimistic sims. Yeah, she likes optimistic sims. Uh, where are you going? I'm just going to proposition you because I'm having a midlife crisis. This bush gets a workout. Is he leaving? You can't leave. We haven't done anything risque yet. Come on. Oh, let's get a first kiss. Come on. Just a... Meet someone new in three unique places. Bush does not. I don't know that I like the way it undulates. Because this bottom part goes out, literally goes out. Do they all do that? I've just never noticed. Or is it just this tree? Alright. Head back in and get you, uh, use you, use the bathroom. Mm. 
Um, excuse me, but I need to use the bathroom. Um, if you could excuse me. Well, I think the elephant in the room is to get divorced. Things have become a little too real for Meredith. It's time to break away and start fresh. Hopefully she doesn't regret this later. Do we actually go through with the divorce? Oh, oh hey, Lilith. Pleasant. I didn't recognize you. Is it bear night? Um. <laughs> because it gets a little complicated. If we had an affair, Meredith had an affair with Henry Cantrell. See, I don't understand why the other guy didn't. Anyway, she had an affair. That's Leo Lothario. She's getting tired, though. We might need to head home. Because if I divorce them, then I would assume I need to move him out. And how is she going to afford the place? Okay, let's head home. Do we roll for it or do we just do it? I kind of feel like we just do it, but then I'm feeling like, mm, I don't. I mean, they're not even mad at each other. They have no bad relationship. She's just running out of time. Life is just slipping away and feels like Meredith hasn't yet really experienced the things in life that life has to offer. Try knocking up some items from her midlife crisis bucket list in the aspiration panel. Lost connections. Meredith has an intense desire for more social connections in life. On the plus side, all positive social interactions will have an extra boost during this crisis. Take a look at the midlife crisis selection in the aspiration panel for more info. You know what? We're just going to do it. And we'll see what happens afterwards. You want to do it? Then let's go for it. But I don't know what we'll do. Well, he'll have to stay for this round. Well, 
she divorced Ted. That got one of her things done. Casual woohoo three times. Meet someone new in three unique places. Exchange a friendship bracelet. Get married. Alright. Well, for right now, I think we need to simply end it a romantic relationship. Um, put you to bed. Because you are pregnant. So let's get you upstairs to bed. And now Ted is extremely sad. But he's also angry and... And he's... Yeah... But she's also sad for two days. You're going to go research your plants? Why don't we go downstairs and get something to eat instead? Why don't you get some leftovers? If they stay divorced, if they stay divorced, one of them's gonna have to move out, right? Well, not necessarily. They could stay living in the same house. Because it is a big house. But it would be awkward. We could roll to see who gets the house. Because it could be funny either way. Because one of them would probably have to move to the city and go live in an apartment. Or move to Ecoland and live in an apartment. So they'd have to probably move somewhere and live in an apartment. Or become a tenant. Oh, he's not so upset right now. Now, the problem is what to do with you for today and tomorrow. Hmm. Would he want to go get even? But he doesn't know about the affair. I think for right now, we're going to give, no, we'll give you this bed. Yeah, sure. Give yourself some pep talks. What time do you work tomorrow? You work in 19 hours. Isharu 
singular. The food of Polka. Polka. Sabafa? Sabafa on TV. Bob and their followers. Take well as she. Spukes an owl. Oh. Captain. Ha. Kip ahoy, you are. All right, let's just put you. Why don't you get some sleep, dude? Rebate day was successful. Use the bathroom, girl. Get up and go. You gotta be having that baby soon. Come enemies with Katarina. With Katrina. I always want to put an extra A in her name and make it Katarina. I don't know why. Whoops. We've gone into labor. And I have not even once considered a name for this baby. Meredith and Ted. What letter are we on? We're on R. We'll finish that up real quick and we'll let you go have the baby at the hospital. Have baby at the hospital. Send alone. Now she's sad. It's a boy. thing I can think of off the top of my head is Roscoe. Is that spelled right? I guess it is. Is there something that would be better? Oh, but their last name is Roswell. Roscoe Roswell? Isn't it Roswell? No, I don't know about Roscoe Roswell. Rourke? Rover? Rowan? Rowan. I'm not opposed to that. Roy. Roy Roswell. Rune. Rune. 
Rusty. But again, doesn't sound real good with Roswell. Ryan Roswell. How about just Rowan? Oh, there's Roscoe. It has an E on the end. Scandinavian from the red from the deer forest or red or Scottish and Gaelic meaning headland hmm Roscoe Roswell though Roscoe Roswell you know what we're just gonna go with it and we're not gonna put the E I don't think I think we're just gonna do the O Roscoe Roswell Let's see our little family tree yep Ted and Meredith and little Roscoe. Now where did the baby end up at? Because the baby has got... Um, where did the baby end up at? Um... Downstairs. They have so many bedrooms in this house. And I went with pinks and cowboys. Oh well. It looks fine for now. Alright. Well, let's get you working on getting over your sadness come give yourself a pep talk because we can't do the other things that you want to do if you're sad from being divorced because you want to get married exchange friendship bracelets meet someone new and have casual woohoo two more times And I know I can do the casual woohoo. Does it have to be with three different people? Meet someone in a unique place. I have the perfect unique place. got to get over this. And now... Oh, a self rebutting post. Now you're going to contemplate life? Running out of time. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, the baby needs to be taken care of. You got that, Ted? Ted's like, I'm on it. Yeah, you're down to 20 hours. That's pretty good. Be friendly with Meredith. Come enemies with Wolfgang. That is a pale kid. Yeah, you need to come in here and use the bathroom. Take a shower. All right, so you get your shower in, so you're ready for work. You're cleaning things that don't need to be cleaned, because of course you are. Um, let's get you upstairs. Let's weed. Um, sell all. this oh Mora I was gonna say somebody is out to there that would be Mora why is the fireplace on in summer congratulations on the new edition thanks Thanks, woman I just met last night. Mm. Second floors, man. Change his dirty diaper, sweetie. There you go. And then you can clean that up. You can clean that up. your wife clean it oh your ex-wife clean it all right and he wants to be nice to Meredith where's Meredith at Well, come down here and be nice to Meredith. <laughs> My other option is that she could try to remarry Ted. Since she wants to get married. But... All right. 
right, so we got to take you out and work on your aspiration some more. Um... Dude, you're a little late. You're just a tiny bit late. Alright, let's take you out to a unique place where you can meet someone. What about the lighthouse in Brindleton Bay? It's unique. Let's see if we can meet somebody there. I don't know who we'll meet, but but we'll try to meet somebody there and have some casual woohoo in a lighthouse. Hmm. Well, doesn't look like there's anybody around right now. Except. One married man who's been known to stray in the past. And going to the lighthouse. That's awful far away. What if we just... What if we just put, like... We'll see what we can make happen. Come on, Meredith. You're being slow. That can, that's somebody in a unique place, right? Throw a party. Mm, okay. Um, mm. Mm. We must add you to our directory where we can, like, become friends. I know we just met each other, but... Just need a little bit of a friendship. And then let's see if you will accept a bold pickup line. Come on, Meredith. He is such a dog. Flirt. Compliment appear. No, 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 don't leave. Compliment appearance. No, 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 Sakes, not Judith. No, 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 you're not. No,
can't seem to. All right. Judith always causing me problems. Was you in the closet? Mm -mm. Oh, and there's another one that would probably go for it. No, 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 no. What happened? Where did he go? Mm, he can't say yes and then bugger off? No. You said yes. I don't want to try for baby in the lighthouse. I just want to woohoo in the closet. And you already said yes once. Just ignore Judith. Ignore Judith. Meredith needs to have her sex. No. No. Meredith, he's being stubborn. He He's all for it. I mean, he's all for it. No, 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 no. We're right... No, not in the lighthouse. We're right here. I just need you to get in the closet. Just, just get in the closet. This is just a one-time thing. You never have to hear from me again, probably. Unless I turn into one of those clingy stalkers. You never know. I, I mean, you never know. And then you can leave. Did they even go all the way through with that? I mean, it counted. It counted as two times. So, alright. Now we need to find someone else. Can we... Who else is around other than Victor? This dude. Do that dude's around. Do we go for him or do we go for Victor? Victor really doesn't need to be like. Victor, I just need a little bit of friendship. And then we'll see how you're feeling. Alright. Let's see... If he'll take a casual...
Why is this woman in our conversation? I'm trying to pick up a man. A married man, but nonetheless, a man. And I'm feeling very romantic. I'm feeling very romantic. Kiss his hands. Don't say goodbye. Not this stuff again. Oh. First kiss. What does she want to do with... Ask Victor on a date. Well, that just... No, Simon, I don't want to go to your house with your wife and your new baby. That's not what I'm after right now. I don't want a boyfriend. I just want to woo him in a closet. <laughs> Is this one going to work out better than the first? Last exception. Apparently it is. The first one was a bit of a problem, but the second go round, throw a party. We can throw a party, but we don't know that many people. But we could meet some people. Oh, she needs to pee. Took her a little longer to get through this one. And then she needs to contemplate life. Mm. Interact with a cow plant five times? Honey, you're the one who said you wanted to contemplate life. Are you sick now? You do have very hairy legs. And arms. And not in blonde hair, which is very confusing. In the midst of a midlife crisis, Meredith has decided DJ mixing is her thing and wants to do it more often. DJ mixing? Seriously? I'm not saying we can't. Here, why don't you come down here and use the bathroom before you pee yourself? All right, so get married, exchange friendship bracelets, throw a party, interact with a cow plant five times. We'd have to grow a cow plant. So that one is a little dicey because we don't have a cow plant seed. I mean, not that I couldn't get one. And I don't know anyone who has a cow plant, so I can't just pop over to someone's house. Hmm. Is there a bartender here at this joint? No. There is, however, a kitchenette? No. No. There's just a microwave with no way of eating here. Alright, so... We could go home, and we could throw a party, but we don't know a lot of people, and the mo pe most of the people we know are the people we've been messing around with lately. Hmm. 
What else is th you want? Get married. We can't do that unless we propose to Henry. Oh, Henry's already married. Well, that shoots that one. Every man you've been with is married. The only one who's not married is your ex. Simon's married. James is married. Matthew is not. No, we don't have a good candidate. We don't have a good candidate to get married. Let's go to Windenburg and let's go to a place where there would be DJ things going on because she's, you know, into that right now. We'll grab some food at the bar and try to meet some new people. Meredith is starting to feel like an expert at flirting these days. At heart, she just might be a true romantic. Embrace the change? Sure. Our bartender is... Our bartender is a vampire. Um, let's order some food. Um, some bread rolls. I always just get people currywurst or fish and chips. Let's just get you more currywurst. Go get you some food. Oh, and our DJ is a ghost. Um... Hugo Raja. This might turn out to be a mistake, but, you know. Oh, and Saja. Um, excuse you? Get... Get your butt up here and eat. Oh, we got Org. Oh, Ricky, um. We don't know her. Oh, we can't introduce ourselves to her. She's famous. Did you introduce yourself to her? We're trying to meet people in case we decide to throw a party later. Yes, you're married. Yes, you're married. And you're married. Everybody's married. Lothario. She actually is not married. She is homeless. Do you want a um 
a second unconventional marriage. She wouldn't be bad if we gave her a makeover. Oh, she did that on her own. And she was not having it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a shame. Don't go sleeping. We'll never find you somebody if you're sleeping. He's tired. What if she got to know you better? We're going to add her and her. Oh, I closed it. Let's give you a boost. Just a little bit of a boost. And we can do a bold pickup line and see what happens. Oh, that's better. Um, compliment her appearance. Don't leave. Oh, she is awful damn skinny. She left. All right. Ted's about to go to work, so I guess we could go home. Let's just go home. Let's just go home. And then we got to figure out what to do about Ted. Did we leave him? Did we... I don't know. Sweetie, we really do need to take care of your arm and leg hair. Mm -mm. We'll do it real quick. We'll just do it real quick because it bothers me. That's not what I meant. Arm hair, you don't have any. Torso hair, you don't have any. Back hair, you don't have any. Leg hair, you don't have any. It doesn't grow. There, there you go. Why does it have your hair being red anyway? Sing. I don't understand. What about you, Ted? What you got going on? 
you got arm hair that can grow, torso hair that can grow, back hair that can grow, leg hair that can grow. We'll have to come back into cast when the baby ages up anyway, so I probably should have just waited. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <sighs> All right, you're home. Ted is about to go to work. You might want to use the bathroom before you go. You did not like this again, right? Okay, good, good, good. Hey, Merritt. Oh, you're going to go take a nap? Okay. Well, you go take a nap then. You have been very busy the last two days. We still need to get her married, throw a party, interact with a cow plant. Uh, I don't have a cow plant, Barry. I know someone who does. I know someone who has a cow plant berry. That would be um, Cahill. But he didn't plant it. It's just in his pocket. We could get one if we took you fishing, maybe. Did you break the toilet? That looks like an unbreakable toilet. <sighs> All right. Have a good day. Might be your last day in this house. So, you know. <sighs> Let's get you to take. And you're going to need to come here and learn how to repair this. I hate to... I hate to be the one, but it might be your house. Or it might not. There you go. It is 10 p.m. though. Oh, your baby doesn't age up this time. Oh. We could go fishing. And try to get a cow plant berry. Because there's nowhere to buy a cow plant berry. You have to get a cow plant berry. No. It'll be... Let's go to Tartos and hope it's not raining. If it's raining, we might have to move to someplace else. All right, Meredith, come down here and go fishing. We're going to try to work on your wants. Your want to mess with a cow plant, Barry, a uh, cow plant, for just reasons. And while we're at it, maybe we can get some more dragon fruit. And you can expand the empire. Or we could just catch fish. But that's not what we're after. You, you get that right. We're not after fish. We're after everything but fish. Fishing level 6. 
Are you wanting to contemplate life again? She is. She wants to contemplate life again. I'm doing my best to make your dreams come true, woman. There's your cow plant berry. You didn't get a single dragon fruit though, which I find very depressing. Do you want to keep at it for just a little bit and see if we get a dragon fruit? I don't want any fish. Although you might need the money. Let's get home and let's plant. He got $200. Oh dear. You made more than that fishing. Contemplate your life. Then we'll go home and plant your cow plant berry. And then we'll decide on what's going to happen with the rest of your marriage. Uh, what did you contemplate? Just lost connections? Alright, let's go. Back to Strangerville. We got things to figure out. And not a lot of time to figure them out in. I could get her and Ted back together. I could. Because they're social bunny friends. So that's always, you know, that's always something that we could do. Go plant your cow plant. Go plant your cow plant. What are you doing? You're making franks and beans? Oh dear. Have we stooped that low that we have to make franken and beans? Now does that... No. Okay, you go take care of the baby. No, you are not going to make frankenbeans and then eat something else. Grab your serving of frankenbeans. And then we'll, let's, let's decide this. Alright. I need a coin flip. I need a coin flipper. Google coin flip. All right. Now, first question is Ta is Ted going to move out? Heads is yes. Tails is no. Right? Right. Yes. No. No. So Ted's not moving out. Okay. Well, then that just does away with all the other questions. Because I don't have to have anybody in particular keep the house or the kid if they're still living together. All right, so at least for right now, Ted is going to stay living here. But if she remarries, we're going to have to reevaluate. And we, we're going to have to reevaluate 
your money making schemes. Because you're making $200. You need to get promoted. You need to be promoted so much. Have you got this? I kind of want to check and see if she's pregnant. Just, just to be on the safe side. She probably isn't, because we only woohooed. So the odds are that she's not. Okay, she is not pregnant. All right, so no married man babies, for better or worse. <laughs> All right, when you go into bed then, Ted, do you not think you should sleep? Well, it's not up to me. You do what you want to do. But we're going to end this part right here. So thank you so very much for watching my video watching. goodbye for now